Hi. How are you? Hi. Are you? I'm okay. You're looking all beautiful, glowing. Okay. And you look so wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. Money is good. Money is good. You can say it again. Do you know my container just landed from Turkey? Making it a total of three containers in just one week. <laughs> Philomena, we are so blessed. Hmm. Thanks to our Lord Grandmaster. Our hands are so blessed. Whatever we touch, blessing, blessing, blessing. Do you know my money is now running in millions? Thanks to the Lord Grandmaster. <laughs> You're underestimating our Lord Grandmaster. Your money should be running in billions. I claim it. Who <laughs> gets it? Do you know the latest? There is a mark of greatness on the forehead of all the members of Ngongo Confraternity. Our wealth will never finish. As long as we continue to renew our sacrifices as at when due. My involvement with Ngungo Confraternity has made me the richest female in my hometown and even my husband's hometown as well. Did you, did you just say husband? Come on, Ugezi. The one you have offered his brain and he's just there for nothing. Why don't you just waste him? What is he still doing? Philomena. At least I still have a husband. I better remain single. I don't need that kind of man around me. Geze. Ima kwa no monkey na aguzi ono mire. Digi na agu ono mire. Arome. How do you even cope with that? No, no, no. No, no, no. Please, no, no, no. Please don't go there. I must do what I must do to maintain that wealth and affluence. Anything I can do. I will do it. That's the spirit. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Ajano! Oh, you taught me that. <laughs> Please, let me get you something to drink. I know your brand. I don't need to ask you. <laughs> Actually, the drugs I'm asking after was prescribed to me by medical doctors. Okay, you said so already. <laughs> he confidently asked me to come to Clapet Pharmacy Place for the drugs. The doctor must have said that to you because we supply drugs to the hospital. And the owners of this Clapet Pharmacy Place are medical doctor and the pharmacist, respectively. Are they couples? Yes, so can I see the prescription? Sure. Right. Yeah, we have all the drawers, so give me some seconds. Let me get them ready for you. Okay, ma'am. Sunny. There is something I've been meaning to tell you. What's that? A certain man came to my office a few days back at the Federal Medical Center. A man? What about him? He, um, he actually came to thank me for taking good care of his son while he was on admission at the hospital. <sighs> That's so thoughtful of him. But um, this man made a very shocking revelation. Tell me about it. 
doctor. Yes. I actually came to appreciate you. Um, what are you thanking me for exactly, Mr. Kanandu? My wife told me how good you were to my son when he was on admission. Oh, that. So you don't need to thank me. I mean, I was only doing my job. Yes, I know. But you know that some doctor nurses are heartless. But you are, in your own case, you handled my son as though you are brought. Well, that is how I attend to everyone here in the hospital. It's a natural thing. Well, my, my son is here and healthy and has gone back to the university where he's studying biochemistry. Oh, that's great. Super, super great. I'm, I'm glad he's fine now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I love that smile on your face, by the way. <laughs> Thank you very much, my dear. Doctor, your husband is a twin. Yes, I am married to a twin, but how did you know that? You are married to a great family of twins that are destined to be great. <laughs> Wait a minute, sir. Are you are you a seer or something? <laughs> that family you have been married into is God. And we soon be wiped away for your progression. Wait, wait a minute. Could this, could this be the reason? I mean, I have been married to my husband for a couple of years. I haven't conceived just yet. I am medically inclined. I have checked myself. There is nothing wrong with me medically. Same thing as my husband. And you have not managed to conceive me because of the call by the woman. Sir, please, who is this woman? Who is she? Doctor, I will expand on the motive behind the cause when I see your husband and the twin brother. Doctor, that is not even possible. It will be difficult to get the two of them together. As I speak to you, both brothers are cats and rats. They must come together as one. Is that the only solution? Unity. Unity. I'm sorry, sir, but I, I don't understand. I mean, your husband and his twin brother must reconcile and start relating as brothers. Then, the course will be reversed back to the woman. Just that? Just that. And I mean it. Could you believe that? I don't get it. Listen, I'm really disappointed at you for even thinking that whatever that man told you is true. These people are fake pastors and see us parading the streets. That's that's not reality. Uh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> is that all you have to say? What else do you want me to say? I've told you the kind of disdain I have for this, this charlatans parading as pastors and men of God and seers. My love, we have been married for the past five years. And in these five years, I haven't conceived. Doesn't that bother you? Sweetheart, listen to me. Our inability to reproduce yet has got absolutely nothing to do with any woman. Don't you get it? My love. You need to reconcile with your brother. At least this will break that evil curse or whatever it is that evil woman has on us. It will automatically backfire. That is what the man said. Let's just give it a try, please. You know, you're beginning to sound so strange to me. Don't tell me you have accepted what that Mr. Otokanandu said about a strange evil I accept evil. everything he said. Whatever he said, I believe is the truth. We're going to have this conversation, please. Sorry. Babe, 
off. You're not just going to walk out on me. This is the particular piece of land our guy said we should come and show you. Yeah, on Aladia. Okay, uh, but uh, where did that land end? Uh, from here. That fence hmm? there over there. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That fence is the, is, the, is, the, is the end. Yes. Then from this place now to this to this tree. Exactly. The, you mean the Menalite? Yes. Okay, this, that one is a. Uh, no, 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 man said magic is off. Yeah, that's magic. We don't sell this one. We don't sell the suit off. Yes. We don't sell land. Okay. Even yeah. this side, we don't sell land too. I'm telling you. Yeah, but I'm not sure this land is up to two. Ah, two. No, no. Ah. You bring your bring your Sophia now. Bring your Sophia. Bring your Sophia. Very sad. From this fence now to this tree is 50 by 100. Yes. I'm exactly. Then from this tree now to this place is another 50 by 100. Bam. Okay, Chad. This is the land our boss specifically asked us to bring you to. Um, exactly. This land is pure for filling station. It's a good site. I'm telling but you. And another site. No. Level land now. Okay, no problem, but I'm not going to make any payment until I see the certificate of uh, occupancy. Hey, so, okay, there is no problem, there is no problem. You know the everything problem. is intact. Oh, no, the the enigma. Enigma. We provide every necessary certificate hey, or documents you need for this Even one. the CEO of uh, ABC, everything, no. everything is intact. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, guys. Uh, but please, oh. I hope this land is not in any dispute. No, 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 no. no. I hope there's no uh, issue in this land. No, no, no. We know the land. Let's defend them for you. May we carry you go here, Wagadi? Yes. May you see the land. Now, let's carry you go here, Wagadi. I know what I'm avoiding. Now, let's carry you go here, Wagadi. Now, let's carry you go here, Wagadi. Now, let's carry you go here, Wagadi. No, we know they do back here this way. You know why this? Get the insurance, sir. They don't face the left and the right for you. You see that they're waiting. Now, we say the one waiting for back of this one. Yes, now. I guess you have seen the land. My boys showed you everything, right? Yeah, yeah. I've Good. Seen. So you don't have to worry yourself about anything. Okay. Uh, I hope you, your boys told you what we discussed. What is that? Oh, okay. about the papers? Yes. Perfect, yeah. These are the papers, these are the documents of the land. Complete with certificate of occupancy. So once you make payments, the land is yours. Uh, let, me, let me see the papers. Okay. Please. Go ahead and peruse. I hope this uh, CFO is uh, is original. You can see the stamp and the seal and the signature. This thing is directly from the Ministry of Lands. Okay. So once you make your payment, the land is as good as yours. As a matter of fact, I'm going to make the payment right away. Perfecto. <laughs> Perfecto. I hope there is no issue. Hey, hey, go. hey, hey. I am Paul the Enigma. I don't involve myself in shady deals. Okay. Um, your card number, please. Okay. Um. Yeah. Ocean Bank. Okay. Yeah. Done. Are you sure? Yeah. Check it. Right. Perfect. <laughs> the land is yours. <laughs> it's okay. I I had to run along. All right, all right. Okay. <laughs> nice doing business with you. Thank you. It's my pleasure. All right. Bye bye. <laughs> Hello. Who is? Who is it? Everywhere, right? No, 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 no.
My man, see, I cannot wait for this money to drop. I will open a provision shop for my Yomine, for my Uma, my baby. You see, I'm hey. Nana. Woo. Nana. If I say now you be the only Agboro, where they behave like idiots, we no get one single cent. It will be like saying I insult you. Insult me not. How you go go open a provision shop for woman where you never mind? You know say no sabito. Sure you know say you know sabito. How does it concern you how I spend my money? Onyinye na yo onyinye. She's my woman, my wife, my baby. Okay, I can't come down. They talk rubbish. Would they tell you something? They talk about that. They talk about this one, about this one. See, man, I tell you. As soon as you get your house, she carry your belly. You never pay her bride price. If anything happens to that girl, yeah, if anything happens to that girl, you go marry her. So course. I tell you, huh? pay everything complete. Oh, I tell you, everything must be complete. No, no, no. What will happen to her? What will happen to her? Now I see two of you are not my friends. So are you now wishing my Onyinye to die while giving birth? What will happen to Onyinye? My friend, we are not wishing the Onyinye dead. We are suggesting since that girl is pregnant for you and her parents is forcing her on you, mm -hmm. go and pay her back present. He chose the only way house. In which you go shop right in the you open for her. Uh, 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 see, yeah. you people should keep your suggestion on your own. Allow me to suffer my suffer alone. Mm -hmm. Is it your business? For spider, eh? So if you don't know what I suffer every day I go home, mm -hmm. could you believe that Onyinye will wake me up at night, midnight, mm -hmm. to send me for one errand or the other? I don't know, eh? I saw the president today. You, you never yes. see anything. <laughs> <laughs> Why did they laugh? Then they send you errand. He never, he never <laughs> see anything. <laughs> see, <laughs> just allow me. You never see anything. Allow me. Let me drink. When you they do the thing, you don't know say I say anything. Yeah, yeah. When you 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 don't say to man. Oh, Okay, get your cross. No, make it always clear for my own heart. Mm -hmm. Not you, the way. What are you doing here? Is that a form of welcoming a visitor? Have I not warned you to stop coming to my office? If you had picked my call, I wouldn't have been here. Listen, Agnes. I don't mix business with pleasure. Take a walk. When I have need for you, I'll call you. As if you're going to call. That is what you keep saying each time I visit. Yeah. Can I concentrate? Well, I'm here to, you know already, to collect the money. What? Me. What money? I, I should give you my money to what end? Okay, you promised to give me a new phone. <laughs> See this old fool. They bought you today. Wait. You're trying to tell me you took a promise I made when you were moaning and groaning on that ecstasy. Serious? He must be a learner. He didn't mad. Could be Lena. You know how many years I've done there for this business? You see that particular money, that 150,000 that you promised me, made me to do unimaginable things with you. You must give me that money. That money must enter my palm before I step out of this place. If not, <laughs> the whole building will gather for me and you. I will shout. Ta -ta! I go, you, go, you, go, you, go, you will shout for who? Look at this one. You think I'm one of those men that when a woman tells them she will shout, they begin to fidget and, and, and get afraid? If you want to shout, I see, I'll be free to. This bag, my man. Let me even start the shouting. Get out of my office. I'm not giving my money. I'm not giving it. Give it. No. I wasn't the one who did pain. It was my husband. And he's been the one paying all the while. What was the reason you, you cut off my subscription when we've paid? Okay. Very well then, I have given you the subscription number. Go through your data, you will discover that there was no reason 
whatsoever for you to have terminated my, my, my subscription. Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right. Give me my money, I beg. Agnes. Okay, give me my money. Agnes, leave my clothes. I they want you now. <laughs> Who you they want? Give me my Agnes, money. Agnes, leave my clothes. Give me my money, I beg. What is wrong with you? You slapped me. Yes. Why you slapped me? And I will. You give me that money. Today. Agnes. You give me that money today. You think what that money? You must give me that money. Agnes, leave my. Yeah. You want to know my print story? <coughs> Agnes. You give me that money today. I know it's your tomorrow. <laughs> I'll be happy, bro. Uh, if I uh, had you, you know, like I said. Uh, me, no, no, so free, oh. And I can do a so free business. You enter my suit in the middle. You walk home, make no one pay. Who told you for free? Huh? I told you for free. I'm not going to do it. You want me to do it? You want me to do it? You know that one? Leave me now. Me, go leave you. Agnes, leave me now. I don't believe you. Agnes, what? I'm not going to leave you. Agnes, do you? I'm not going to leave you like that one. Ah! Ah! This girl don't try me. This guy don't try me, this guy don't try me. I swear to God I will kill Agnes. Oh. Oh. Dead Chris. <sighs> that guy never see the last of me. In fee say in Agbel. The Chris will work. <laughs> you see that money? That poor go pay me every penny from that money. I get agro, I get You didn't learn. I grow the learn we are shower day. We'll tell you, say, eh, I don't get shame for I. And now we, we, we be a shower now. We they run this town. Go collect. This one not small. One thing I want to do you not small. You go, you go, you go, they collect steady. As I see anywhere when I see you go collect until you give me that money. They mad. I grow. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> See, Paulo. Oh my God. Agnes actually did this to me. I will teach her a lesson. She wants me to give her money for phone? How can I buy phone for a prostitute? Somebody I remember where and how I met her. Tell me, are we not going to spend the night? Yes, but we can start now. now. No, no, you don't have to start now. Just Why? go and have your bath, okay? And come back. I'll be waiting. Okay, let's let's take one round first before. I go okay. Back down. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, have you heard of um snake in a monkey shadow? What is that? Oh, that is the lecture I'm going to be. <laughs> Taking you in a minute. <laughs> <sighs> Babe, you are the bomb. <laughs> I told you. <sighs> <sighs> Why did you call it again? <laughs> you mean the almighty um, snake in the monkey shadow? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. I've never had that style before. Even my Calabar babe has never... She doesn't even know it. Are you serious? Yes. Wait. You have a calabar dressing. Yes, now, you know, it's not good for a man to be eating the same soup every day. Sometimes you do a goosey, sometimes you do a okra. <laughs> sometimes you mix it. Sometimes you mix it. <laughs> so what's her name? Her name is uh, Eno. Eno. Yes.
<laughs> I know it's my sister. Are you a Calabar girl? Mm. Hey! No wonder! <laughs> hey! You people are very perfect in this deal. Are you serious? Like, it's like it's inborn. Yeah, 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 it is. I can see! <laughs> <laughs> they groom us separately on that. I swear! <laughs> you turned my head around. Are you serious? <laughs> so, what's your name? You are just asking me. Sorry, you know, I was carried away. <laughs> I just needed to get into the honey pot immediately. <laughs> well, my name is Agnes. Hey! Again, one mm? man. <laughs> <laughs> I am Paul. Okay. Yes. I must confess, you are too good. Hey! Thank you. You are too strong. I am a machine. <laughs> <laughs> and you are equal to the task. Please, I need more work. What's, what's kind of irresponsible guy is Paul? Huh? This is half past nine and he's yet to be back from work. Why, why does he derive joy in doing all of this? He does this always, all the time. All he does is come back in the dead of the night, reeking of alcohol and different stains of lipstick on his, on his shirt. Then again, he will lie. He does not just lie. He, he, he finds a way to beg that he will not repeat this again. And he jumps back at it after two days. It's... Is this nice? What sort of rascal is this? What sort of rascal is Paul? Huh? I think I have to leave. I have to go find something better to do for my life. <laughs> Frankly speaking, my love, you have the strength of ten men, I must confess. Really? Yeah. How good on that? <laughs> you know what? Yes. We are going to do this style again. Oh, I'm not tired of it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That style to me is outdated. Because I have so many styles. Hey! I need to teach you. You are a prof in this business. <laughs> <laughs> really? So many. Hang on, let me smoke and drink and recharge. Wow. You smoke? Every babe on the street smokes. Hmm. Like my phone is ringing. Please help me with it. Okay. It's in the pocket of my jean. Okay. <sighs> Who is it? Eno. Eno. Hello? Where are you? I I went to visit my brother and, and his wife. Liar. Which of your brother and his wife did you go to see? Huh? Paul. Why are you doing this? And are you calling me a liar? I am calling you a liar because that is what you are. I, I said I was going to call to tell you I will not be coming home tonight. I, I'm with them. It's fine, no problem. Go ahead, lie. 
ไล่ไอเฮลโหลเฮลโหลThis house, I can't take this again. I can see that my presence in this house is the reason Paul has taken me for granted. Paul is a blatant liar, and I can't do this again. First thing tomorrow morning, I am packing everything that belongs to me, and I am leaving this house for good. What kind of, what kind of rubbish is this? What sort of life am I living? Why am I doing this to myself? Have a very fine day. <laughs> I'm in charge of the union of road transport workers. Money is never my problem. Are you serious? Of course. <laughs> I love men that sound like you. Now come here, let me take you to the cloud now. Hey! Explanations to what I am doing. I am leaving. I, I've had enough of you and I can't take this again. No, 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 no. You, you cannot leave me. I need you around the house. Really? You need me around the house, not around your life, huh? No, do, do not put words in my mouth. You know what I mean. Please, you cannot go. Stay back. Well, I am not staying in this house for a day. A second anymore because I see staying here has made you disregard me. You don't even think, you don't take me as anything because I stay in your house, Paul. Hey, no, please. Look at you. She don't even know how to lie. You know, staying here will make me lose my sanity and I can't take, I can't do this, please. Hey, no, okay, okay. I know you may have verified that I was not with my brother last night. I, I, I went for a business that will fetch money. Oh, stop patronizing me with your money tales. Uh, Paul, I am not even interested in your money. I have asked you to, to build your life. But I can see that is very difficult for you to do. So I will just leave you. Okay? Enough. Coming back home to meet you is the only tonic I need to spark my imagination. You cannot just leave me and go like that. Please. If you leave me, I may not live to see tomorrow. Oh, wow. Paul, I can see that you're very good in blackmailing me emotionally. But I will only stay here for a day if you say the truth and nothing but the truth. Paul, where did you spend the night? What? I can see you're not serious. And, and, no, and, and no, and no, and no, please. I will, I will tell you the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. You see, I when okay. To <laughs> hey. 
Hello, Mr. Paul. Good afternoon. Uh, this is Agnes speaking. Uh, Agnes, now nah, where you picked for Johnson Street last week? Ha! 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 Okay, you forget. They, they quick forget things, though. Agnes, now wait tell you that Calabar babe, wait till you say you know Enno. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I saved you that very day because of the promise you made to me. Ah, okay, boy, you need to forget things, oh. Uh -uh. You promised me, say you go go give me hundred and fifty thousand naira to get a new phone. Don't forget. Hello? Ogapo? He calls the call. You. Surprise, surprise. He thought I was not going to find you. What are you doing here? You know the reason I'm here. I don't. Tell me. Okay. Well, I'm here to collect the new phone you promised me. Hey! She make you run a good relationship. Is it that you are sick? Or you're deliberately trying to provoke me? Hoga, you know the reason I left that money? The reason I left was because you promised to get me a new phone. I left my full entitlement. Please, do not provoke me this hot afternoon. Are you not a fool? <laughs> like, you want me to buy a phone for you? A prostitute, an alopio. An <laughs> well, I'm not ready for your pranks this hot afternoon. Mm -hmm. It will be your greatest undoing if you refuse to give me that money. X, I am going to create a very Beautiful scene this afternoon. <laughs> you can't try this one. <laughs> you don't know say you're in a pack. I've seen more like you go ahead and create this. Since you don't want to give me the new phone, please can I have my full entitlement for the job well done? I am not giving you any money. <laughs> and you will walk out of my office now. <laughs> the call was a first reminder. This visit is the second one. Trust me, you will never like this third one. Because it's going to be hot on both of us. Good day. Like, who do, how many people would sleep with you and give you phones? my office She will surely pay for this, I swear to God. Agnes will pay with her own blood. Look at what she did to me. What do I tell you not happen to me? How do I explain this? Oh. That girl is a bitch. I set my eyes on her. I'm going to kill her. Who is a bitch? And who are you trying to kill? The person that did this to me. Oh my goodness, what happened? He was at the park. Oh. A driver and an Aguero were involved in a fight. My only crime was going to separate them. Before I knew it, the driver picked up a bottle and tried to attack me. I made to defend myself and he caught my hand. Why would you try to separate a fight? You should have remained in the office. Hey, no, have you forgotten I'm the chairman of the union? I haven't forgotten. But well, you still you're not the chairman of fight separation. Now look at what you've done to yourself. 
We just stop the blame game and do what you're supposed to do. Seeing me in this state. Okay, I'm sorry. It's okay. Um, I think the pharmacy did a good job. Yes. You'll be fine. Thanks to that woman, she did a wonderful job. I was bleeding profusely, but she, she was able to contain it. Sorry. Huh? I lost a lot of blood, you know. You needed to see the cut. But that pharmacy woman did. She did wonders. I'm just feeling just slight pains. It's okay. By tomorrow morning, everything, I mean the pains, will go away. Yes, that tomorrow morning I'll go back for her to take a good look at it. He was even one of the Agbiros that directed me to Clapet Pharmaceuticals. Hmm? You yes. say? I went there and I saw wonders. Um, wait. Did you just say Clapet Pharmaceutical? Yes. How? Peter, your twin brother, owns that pharmacy shop. Yes? What? Peter owns Clapet? Mm-hmm. I know Peter is a lecturer and a pharmacist, but I never knew he owned any pharmaceutical shop. Go and get something and fix this. I'm losing blood. No, get me the consent box. So, so sorry, okay? Here are your drawers, okay? Continue taking it as stated. You will be fine. Thank you. All right. Thank you for the professional way you handled my case. I appreciate you, sir. It's my duty to take care of you. So sorry. It is beginning to make sense. I'm beginning to put two and two together. So Clapet is a coinage from Clara and Peter? Wow. You're very intelligent. How come I never thought of this? Peter owns pharmaceutical shops in this town. And I never knew about it. But babe. That pharmacy shop is a well-known one in the town. If I had known he owned it, I would never have gone there. Why? Are you the one asking me this stupid question? Baby, Peter is your twin brother. Your blood, why keep malice with your blood? Are you not supposed to be serving me food now, Kichoka? I'm going to go to Ganyabi for me. I'm going to go to I'm going to go to I'm going to go to Ganyabi for I'll get you something to eat. My love, all I'm asking is that you give peace a chance. Two wrongs can't make a right. Paul is no other person but your brother. Your twin brother. One egg formed both of you. That's why you guys have this striking. Hey, please. Listen, I'm preparing for my lecture tomorrow. Can you just let me do that? I'm not trying to distract you. I'm just I'm just saying you reconcile with your brother Paul. At least to break that jinx down. Hey, 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 please, stop this. What is wrong with you? What has come over you? Peter, you won't shut me. I am your wife. I am concerned. An outsider won't tell you the truth. I will. 
So I, I, I don't know why you're trying to fight this. There is absolutely nothing wrong in what hey. I have said. You're trying to get me angry now, babe. Please. Don't get me there, please. I wish to get you angry, but my love, take a look at this. This whole thing doesn't seem normal to me. Paul at his age is not married. He's, he's wayward. He, he's a tout. He's a rascal. A law graduate from UNM. And you think this is ordinary? He lives with a Calabar girl who he's not even married to. You have been married for the past five years with... And you've not been able to consider you think this is ordinary? Listen. You will not walk away from me each time I talk. I try to talk about this. Listen to me, Peter. So why the sudden must swing? Lest I forget, Dr. Clara was here today to see you. What for? <laughs> when has it become a crime for your brother's wife to come visit him? It is a crime for her to step her feet in this house. After I've warned them to stay away from me. Oh, listen, family is everything. Whether you like it or not, Peter is the only family you've got. So deal with it. She's lucky. I swear she's lucky I did not meet her in this house. I would have taught her a lesson she would never forget in her entire miserable life. What nonsense. On the contrary, she was here for a crucial meeting with you. A crucial meeting? What crucial meeting? Are you sure there's somebody in the house? One is just a knock away. Um, I'm not sure there's anybody in here. Oh, okay. Adriano! Adriano, someone want to see Agapo? Adriano! I said she's asleep. Alright, um... While she wakes up, just let her know or tell Paul when he comes back that his sweet brother's wife is here to see you. Okay. okay? okay. Um, all right, I'll, I'll come around some other time. Okay. Well, hey. Okay, they come back at midnight. Yeah. In that case, I'll go to his office to see him. Mm, that would be okay. All right, thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, good evening. Uh, 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 hi. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. I was actually sleeping upstairs. It's okay. My name is Dr. Clara. I'm Paul's um, twin brother's wife. Oh my goodness. Please come in. Welcome, ma'am. Thank you very much. Please. Make yourself comfortable. Thank you. Um, let me go get you something refreshing. Okay? Oh, no, it's okay. I'm, I'm fine. Maybe yeah. when next I'm here, you can get me Are something. you sure? Yes. Okay, ma'am. Uh, um, what's your name? Oh, my name is Eno. Eno, beautiful name. Thank you very much. Eno, are you aware Paul has a twin brother? Oh, yes, I'm aware. Have you ever wondered why they don't relate as brothers? <sighs> you know, their animosity towards each other has really given me cause to worry. And as a woman that lives with him in the same house, have you ever tried to open a conversation with him on this subject? Of course I have. Severally. But Paul wouldn't want to associate himself with the only immediate family left which is also his twin brother. He will always push me away and shun me whenever I brought up the issue. You know, the fact that they don't even want to see eyeball to eyeball pricks me. I, I have not seen a thing like this before. I think there's a problem somewhere. 
Paul at his age is not married. Looking at you, you're a good woman. What's keeping him? I and my husband have been married for five years, no child. That there, there's definitely a problem somewhere. Ma'am. You know, Paul Paul's lifestyle is is something else. His rascality, his nonchalant lifestyle is nothing to write home about. All Paul does is jump from one prostitute to another. I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say anymore. You know what? I want us to join forces and rescue our men. How do we go about that? I was told that an evil woman, your father jilted to marry their mother, is the one behind this. What? And only reconciliation from both ends can break this curse. Just that? Just that. <sighs> okay. I promise to play my part in convincing Paul to, to come around. I know it will be difficult, but I'll try my best. Please do. Okay? It's for our own good. It was nice talking to you, but I have to be on my way now. I, I'll come again. I'll come visit him again. Then I'll come again. All right. And say me hi to Paul when he I comes will. back. Right. It's nice meeting you, Dad. Same here. Okay. Take care of you. All right. Bye. Paul is misbehaving so much in this town, I might be forced to arrest him. What has he done again? That guy is causing me so much embarrassment. Okay, just calm down and tell me what happened. Take it easy. There is no place I walk into in this town that somebody does not stop me or confront me telling me I ate their money. Oh my goodness. This has always been my fear. You two are so identical. I hope none of them was violent towards you. Huh. One was a prostitute. Huh? A high-class prostitute that Paul slept with and did not pay her. She almost tore all my clothes. You can see this is not the clothes I wore out of the house. Oh I had to get to a boutique to pick this shirt. The other was one Richard who said Paul sold a lamb to him that he had sold to someone else. What kind of disgrace is this? God. This is not good at all. Babe, what do I do to this man? Nothing. My love, you won't do anything to him. He is your blood. So if he's my blood, he should continue to cause me pain? You have to keep enduring. I have had it up to here. I'm tired. Honey, please, just... Jesus. Just calm down. I won't allow you to confront your brother. That is the last thing you should be thinking about right now. So I should let him keep misbehaving and dragging the Indurway family name in the mud. What if you confront him and then you guys get things twisted? You know how your how it always ends up when you two meet. Please, just calm down. I beg you. God. Please. What have I done to deserve this, God? Why would you give me somebody like this as a brother? <laughs> 